and a happy day. Happy Sabbath. Uh, welcome, welcome to our program this afternoon where we shall be lifting up our voices in praise. We want to thank the Lord for the opportunity that he's given to us to even meditate on these old precious words, words written in our hymns. And I hope that this program will be able to inspire all of us and that the words that we sing this afternoon together shall give us hope and joy. Shall we pray together? Our Father and our God in heaven, we thank you. We thank you that you've allowed us to linger in your presence this afternoon. And we pray that as we offer these sacrifices of praise, that you'll sanctify us, that these words that we sing will speak to us, and that you'll encourage us this afternoon that we leave this house changed people, for we pray in Jesus' name. Check. Right. Um, we hope you're having a good time with the Lord. We shall sing a hymn that was written by George Bernard. And I think the inspiration behind this song is a very introspective soul that was looking for where it can get salvation. And I think the obvious answer to me and you is at the old, old rugged cross.
Let's do that part. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a Baby. 
voices. Anyone, if you're blessed, please raise your hand up. Say a big amen. Amen. You didn't come here to just sit. You came here to participate, okay? Let's participate in these songs. Let me tell you, these songs actually speak to our hearts. We have so many other songs from many different genres of music. However, when you listen to hymns, they actually speak to our Christianity and to the theology that founds the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Amen? Amen. We are going to do 532 day by day.
taken away so that he did not see death and was not found because God had taken him. For before he was taken, he had this testimony that he pleased God. Amen? Amen. May we all please God and may we walk with him. And our next hymn will be 554, Oh, let me walk with thee, my God. see him smile. <laughs> yes, um, he's loved it, I think, almost all his life. And uh, I think it's a song that speaks to him and speaks to us as well. Check. Um, this is uh, the hymn that actually ties me to my Christian walk. Uh, it's a song that was given to me by my late mother and she used to tell me just keep going to this church. Even if it doesn't make sense to you, 
and we would sing this song as we walked to church, Nena Rohoni. And uh, later on, many years after she had died, I realized that walk with her to church and the encouragement that she gave me made new sense. Nena Rohoni, Yesu is hymn number 15, Nimbos of Christo. Amen. Salt. 
This song is a prayer. It's a prayer. And we plead with God to speak to us and to speak to our soul and to calm us and to speak peace, to speak joy. I want us to take a moment to just reflect on the words that we've sung and take a step to Jesus in prayer. Even as we listen to the melody that is played along, I want to invite us to approach God's throne in prayer. That we ask him to speak and to speak to us this afternoon. We'll take a minute and I'll ask Brother Moville to close with a prayer as we continue. closer to you, that we might learn of you, of your humility and um, of the salvation that is full and free, of the gift of life you promised to all of them that um, keep the faith. Father, we are not worthy, we are just human beings, we are sinners, forgive our sins and draw us closer to you, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's do the chorus once again. Keep us cannot wait to sit together with the bearer of our burdens in that sweet by and by. We'll sing song number 430, Joy by and by. Oh 
fathers um, God of our fathers is 645 a song that I learned when I was in campus back in the days many years ago <laughs> yeah, it's a very beautiful hymn it's um, a matchy song a triumphant a triumphant song um, that speaks of the glory and majesty of our father
trust in him at like Mount Zion. I'll read for us from the book of Psalm, from the book of Psalm chapter 95 and verse 1. It says, O come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. And we will celebrate that verse with song number 10, Come Christians, join to sing. on our Nyimbo za Kikristo. It's different from Nyimbo za Kristo. Uh, this is a hymn that is not on Nyimbo za Kristo. It's a song that is written by Philip Paul Bliss, the same uh, gentleman who wrote It Is Well With My Soul. It's a powerful song. Let's uh, uh, listen to this song meditatively. Kuruma Zababa. Talk about. 
unison. this song um, as uh, we've been told also wrote um, it is well um, many a times we go through life with difficulty and the writer the prophet who, who, who writes lamentations where the words of this next song come from is Prophet Jeremiah. And the, and the context of, of the pain that the prophet was going through was the devastation of his country. And he's told it's inevitable, it's going to happen. It's difficult. More or less the same that we face every day when we are told the difficulties of life are inevitable. Tax sickness, death. We're told it's inevitable. What gives us the strength to carry on as Christians? Why do we face this different from others? Why do we go out and preach and ask many more to come and believe in this message? Why do we do that? We do that because we serve a faithful God. We serve a faithful God whose mercies are renewed every morning. And I want to invite all of us to sing together powerfully the songs of the words of song number 100. Great is thy faithfulness. And I want us to declare it with conviction, knowing that in spite of everything that we go through, in spite of the difficulties we face, maybe death, maybe sickness, maybe separation, maybe conflict, we serve a faithful God. Great is his faithfulness.
Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 13 says that if we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot disown himself. Amen. How many times have we been unfaithful? I mean, it's every minute, you know. We think, we say, we act contrary to what he wants us to do. But even with that still, he still loves us. No wonder, the wonder of it all. Song number 7-5. Amen.
beautiful. You know, sometimes I used to wonder, did this writer run out of words? Why, did, why only two stanzas? You know? But I realized sometimes, um, you know that song that says, even if the sky will be paper and the oceans will be ink? Yeah, you know that? And the trees, all the trees will be pen. We still wouldn't write enough of God's love. So I think it is in his wisdom that he saw just two stanzas are enough to say my beats. Okay? God is just wondrous. Amen? Yes. We will do our last three hymns. Our last three. We'll do a glory song. Bwana usihimu yangu and but until then we will start with the glory song and then until then and then Bwana glory song number 435 <laughs> Now, some smiles. Oh. 
our second last hymn will be until then and then and then until then we will do <laughs> we will do one of him we are going until then um but until then whatever you're going through but until then you know whatever Satan brings on you will push it until then okay and the push and pull will always be a song of praise to the Lord. Amen? Amen. But until then, my heart will go on singing. left the group and you are left in the group with the landlord that you are still supposed to <laughs> sing until when you get rent. Huh? Yeah, but I think um, 
this song really talk, talks to us about um, our very inconvenient times of Christianity when you think it is very inconvenient of you to be a Christian and very convenient of you to live conveniently, sometimes at the expense of our Christianity and spirituality. So whatever is pulling or pushing you, just keep on singing, keep on praising, keeping on, keep on keeping on until, until then. But until then. This prayer will inspire you to praise until then. Shall we pray? <clears throat> Everlasting Father in heaven, how beautiful to spend quiet times in songs and praises in your presence. We thank you, Lord Almighty, that you could spare us this moment, this time, just to be at your feet, to enjoy the presence of the Holy Spirit. We are grateful, Lord Almighty, because this is just a foretaste of what you plan for your children when you come to take us home. And we look forward to that day, Lord Almighty, when we have to sit, never to worry about the pains and the toils of this world, to sing at your feet the song of Moses and the Lamb. Precious Father, we thank you and we bless you for the gift of music. We thank you for the ministry of music in Lovington SD Church. And you want to pray in a special way, Lord, that you may revive us through music, that Lord, even as we sing, Heavenly Father, our hearts may be in tune with you, that our walk, Heavenly Father, may be ordered by you. You tell us, Lord Almighty, that the steps of good men are ordered by the Lord, and you delight in their ways. Though they fall, they shall not be utterly cast down. May you hold us, Lord Almighty, the righteous hand. Until then, Lord Almighty, help us to remain the faith until you come to take us home because we pray and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, if, if, if you are keen enough, if your eyes were closed and you were praying together, um, in elders' prayer, you heard, may we walk with you, huh? Yeah. Now, I'll be very honest that this hymn, the very first time I heard it was not in Adventist church. How many had this song for the first time in, a, in Adventist church? Pomoja nawe. For me, it looked very, very, do I call it an Adventist? Because I didn't hear it in the Adventist church. So if anyone tried to mama or whisper that, uh, uh, we don't think that here. But until I really came to, to think about the words, and even if you realize that melody is very inspired, you know? Yeah, those songs that you can listen without the words and still feel lifted. Pamoja nawewe. I hope that you will find it in your heart a room for such a such a message. So far. 
something about that song <laughs> <laughs> you look touched well uh, it is one of those songs that uh, honestly I didn't ever imagine I'll get to love or even to sing uh, growing up it was as you indicated a song that was uh, set aside but uh, later on in life I've started appreciating some of these hymns and as I said these are the hymns uh, that are actually uh, theologically uh, the, the foundation that our church has uh, stood upon. So once again, I think uh, we need to have a word of vote uh, uh, of thanks. Uh -huh. God is good all the time. and all the time. The Lord is good all the time. and all the time. Uh, we want to thank the Lord for uh, enabling us to uh, uh, sing uh, the beautiful songs. I believe uh, uh, most of us, your souls have been lifted, and uh, I feel so drawn close to God um, than before. I feel his presence uh, in this uh, house uh, much stronger. Um, I, 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 I was singing here, but I was being ministered to. I think there was a time I was even... Uh, losing the, the, the thoughts and, you know, getting into that prayer mood. And I believe all of us have been blessed. I want to appreciate the team uh, that, that uh, made this possible. Um, uh, Brother David, uh, Brother Alfred, um, uh, Dr. Simon. Uh, Simon is a doctor. If you see him play the guitar, just know he's uh, in other life. He's, uh, he's actually the, the deputy vice chancellor for <laughs> Africa Nazarene University. So... Um, uh, that tells you that uh, uh, music and playing guitar is not uh, just not, not for idlers, <laughs> as this my brother says. <laughs> uh, all the team members, soprano, um, and all the business, uh, I want to appreciate you. And of course, our Ebo Helda for uh, having worked with us through up to this uh, particular point. But above all is uh, the congregation. Uh, we sang together uh, through and through. And I believe all of us have been blessed. Our desire is to have this every quarter. Uh, so we look forward to like, having more and more of this. This was just a, a test uh, of what we look forward to have. So we expect more coming next quarter. Thank you so much. We had prayed. So Are you praying? Yes. Do we say? Amen. Yeah, we, we appreciate um, this group that has sung today. 
the song Spirational Team. Um, as for the announcements, we have a women's program beginning tomorrow, a virtual program. I think the flyer has gone round. Um, and also we have the, the mentorship program for the, for the men. It's still continuing tomorrow. Shall we pray? Uh, after the prayer, we'll still allow them to sing one song to allow us out. <laughs> shall, shall we pray? Our God and Father, we'd like to thank you for this wonderful Sabbath that we had. Lord, we pray that the blessings of today may be with us and that they may take us all over where we are going to be. Thank you, Lord, for the programming that took place, for the singing. And Lord, we pray for this team that you bless them, Lord, that their ministry will touch many as it has touched us today, even those who have joined online. Father, in Jesus' name, be with us as we move back home to our various places because we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.
Just run it on. 